Corpse Bride is directed by Tim Burton and Mike Johnson and stars Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter. This film tells a story about a boy named Victor who is about to be in an arranged marriage with a girl named Victoria. But he doesn't know his vows and when he tries practicing them in the woods, he unfortunately accidentally marries a corpse bride. And so he's trying to figure out how to get out of this situation, trying to make both his new bride and what who was to be his bride happy and trying to figure out where his place in life is at the moment. This is one of those Tim Burton movies that I just purely enjoy for what it's supposed to be. A pure Tim Burton stop motion animated film with dark humor, weird visuals and characters, and a dark atmosphere that feels perfect for the Halloween season, fun character to latch on to, great music from Danny Elfman to listen to. This has all the ingredients of a Tim Burton movie that you want and it all works very well. While this is probably one of his more predictable kinds of films, I mean the story is nothing to write home about, especially with the villain. I think overall, this movie does a really great job for what it sets out to do. The animation is vibrant and colorful and very lively. How it portrays the living and the dead is really interesting as both their worlds are kind of polar opposites to how you think they would be, where the living is actually feels more dead. It's an entirely gray color palette that at times you feel like you're watching a black and white film. But when you get to the world of the dead, this is more vibrant, there's more colors, everyone's more excited. They're free from all the constraints that the living has put upon them, as they're now free to do pretty much whatever they want to, be able to talk to whoever they want to freely, not be berated. It is a more enjoyable place to be in. So when you go into the living world and you see that Victor is trying to navigate his way throughout this world, you're wondering if maybe being dead or staying with Emily, his corpse bride, will be a better outcome for him as this place seems to be a lot more lively and a lot more friendly than anything up above. But unfortunately, there is a bit of friction within that story as Victor actually cares about Victoria who is someone that he is about to be arrangedly marriage to by force, but once they meet and Victor does his piano solo, which is really beautiful by the way, I love Danny Elfman's uh, notes on that song, they actually start to form an immediate connection with one another and you do buy into it. The way they talk to each other and react to their actions, you immediately buy that they think that this could work, that they could somewhat be a thing. But unfortunately, Emily has to come in and kind of ruin everything. But this is a realization that she must have as she starts to try and get closer to Victor because she is supposed to be with him because he put a ring in her finger and that's supposed to mean that they're going to be together forever because she made a vow that whoever comes to marry her and bring her back to life in a way they're going to be together forever and be inseparable but unfortunately she realizes that Victor is in love with someone else and that this whole thing was a big misunderstanding and so she's trying to come to terms with that while trying to make her life also as happy as she can be. So the story has a lot of moving parts with its characters and how they navigate their way through the story I find very interesting to watch. Unfortunately I cannot say much about the villain as his plans is revealed very early on. You know what's going to be the outcome for him and what he wants and his persona is not as lively as everyone else. Even some of the people in the living world, like the parents of both Victoria and Victor, they are more lively than this villain. I would have had her I would have rather had 
Victoria's parents be the villains. They would have been a lot more interesting than this guy. He should have been just like a background story character and not like the twist villain or so or whatever they tried to do with him. Even though there wasn't really a twist and it was pretty early on they revealed his intentions like they should have done something else with him or not have him in the movie at all. Like he is bland. You, you you know everything that is to be known about him immediately and there's no mystery or intrigue with him. The performance is not that particularly memorable. He is just an all-around bland villain in one of my least favorite aspects of the film. Also, this is more so a nitpick because I do understand the story and was able to follow through completely. But I do feel like that there is a few moments near the end of the film where I felt like the pacing could have slowed down a little bit and give us a couple more scenes with the characters to realize some of the decisions that they're going to make. How what they are going to make sink into their minds and have them realize that they need to make the decision that they're going to make right now for a particular reason. That's just a nitpick. I think that the movie works very well overall. The pacing for the most part is great. The directing is very solid and I love the way each of the two worlds, the living and the dead, is portrayed. The characters are overall fun except for the villain and all these actors except for the villain do a great job in their roles. The relationship between Victor and Emily and Victoria I found very endearing and a fun little love triangle that doesn't go the way you think it would like they just immediately hate each other they're just trying to understand the situation they are in and trying to figure out how to fix it and I love that about this film how it takes certain elements I think will go one way and try to do something a little bit more different and a little bit more endearing the music by Danny Elfman is great here once again, though I will not say it's as good as Nightmare Before Christmas. This is a really fun soundtrack to listen to, especially with my favorite song being Remains of the Day and Tears to Shed. These songs work incredibly well and are some of my favorites within the film. All in all, I really enjoyed this film. I think it's a really fun tit and burn film. The star motion is great, the characters are fun. Everything that you want from a Tim Burton movie is shown here and I'm going to give Corpse Bride an A minus. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.